What's up, Gear Mortals? Trey Xavier here. It is that time again for one of my very favorite features that we do on this channel. You love it, I love it, everybody loves it. It's writing songs from random drum grooves. In case you've never seen one of these videos before, I'm gonna give you a real quick rundown on how this works. I'm just gonna write a song using randomly selected tune track MIDI drum grooves that I'm going to sort of actuate in Superior Drummer 3. I have these dice, I roll the dice to select what pack they're gonna come from. I have seven of them uh, lined up. Black Metal Pack, Doom Core, which is the Code Orange one, Library of the Extreme, which is uh, Dirk Verburen's, Power Metal, which I always love to get, Rhythm Sauvage, which is the drummer for Gojira, Progressive Foundry, and Thrash Metal. So I'm gonna roll to select one of those first, and then within that, depending on which part of the song we're on, I'm gonna select from the list of grooves on there, also randomly using the dice. I'm also gonna roll for the sort of key that we're starting the song in. You can see here, I have it uh, lined up. These are concert pitch. My guitar is tuned down a whole step, so I'm gonna do it in whatever concert pitch it lands on. This isn't a key in the sense of if I uh, land on D, it's going to be in D major the whole time. This is just a starting note for our uh, first thing to be in. This is always a little bit wacky, um, I'm sort of at the mercy of the dice, so let's get rolling. There are seven libraries that we're choosing from, so I'm gonna use an eight-sided die. If I roll an eight, I'm going to re-roll, okay? Intro, what is our intro gonna be? Tell me, dice, tell me. Four, four is power metal. Verse one, what is verse one gonna be? Number one, black metal, a black metal verse. I am down with that. All right, chorus one, four, power metal again. We got a seven for verse two. What is seven? Thrash metal. And then chorus two, five, rhythm sauvage. Love a nice rhythm sausage. I mean, sauvage. And then for the bridge or solo, we got a six. Six is progressive foundry. That's, gr that's a great time to have a bridge. Chorus three, another six. Six is, once again, progressive foundry. Outro is gonna be... Another six, three sixes in a row. You know what that means. This is a good looking song form right here. The first thing I have to do is roll for tempo. And in order to get a tempo out of these dice, I'm gonna have to be a little bit creative. First I have to figure out if it's gonna be between zero and 100, 100 and 200, or above 200. So in order to do that, I'm gonna roll this four-sided die. If it's a one, it's gonna be between zero and 100. If it's a two, it's gonna be between 100 and 200. If it's a three, it's gonna be over 200, and I'm gonna roll a 20-sided die to see if it's between 200 and 220, because I'm, I'm not gonna go over 220. I'm only a man, I can't play that fast. I'm not Dragon Force. And if it's a four, we're going back to between 100 and 200, okay? Fair enough, here we go, please God. All right, we got a two. It's just what I wanted, between 100 and 200. And then I'm gonna have to roll the double tens to figure out how much over 100 it's going to be. Check it out. Uh, 79, 179. Now what we have to do is roll for the individual grooves that are gonna come from these packs. So that means we're gonna have to head over to Superior Drummer 3 now and go to the Grooves tab. We're starting off with a power metal intro. We're gonna organize them by name because that generally gives us the type of thing that it is. Because a six-sided die cannot roll a zero so that there's no way to get between zero and one, we are now going to offset the number on the six-sided die by one. So one is a zero, two is a one, etc. And then this is gonna be the, the second digit, whatever that is, on the 10-sided die. Here we go. Okay, so three, which is actually a two, and then a zero, so that's 20. So we're gonna count 20 from the top one, two, Three, 19, 20. All right, here's what our intro sounds like. Wow, let's go ahead and just drag and drop it right into Pro Tools. The next one is black metal. Let's roll for a black metal verse. Um, so we gotta go to the black metal library and then we gotta look up Verses. Here we go. We got 10. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go ahead and drag that right on in. Here's our first verse. Oh, 
All right, well, it's not in 4-4. Four, four. Uh, it's in 6-8. I guess I'm just gonna have to roll with it. That's the nature of the random drum grooves experiment. Okay, I'm gonna drop it in twice to make a part that's long enough for a verse. Otherwise, it's just not that, it's just not enough for a, a whole verse to develop. So back to power metal for the chorus. I am into that. What do we got? Five. So that means we gotta go back to the power metal library. All right, we're going to choruses. And then we go one, two, three, four, five. Groove 150 BPM. Oh yeah. Hello. Yeah. I'm way into that. Same thing, gonna drag it in twice. All right, next, thrash metal. Now we have to go to the thrash metal library. This is for verse two. And roll in. 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12. Here we go. I like it. Chorus two, we gotta go to the Rhythm Sauvage library. We gotta find the chorus grooves. Here we go. Give me something good, give me something good. All right, we got 27. 10, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is gonna be very sped up from the original. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh my God. The swing, oh, the swing. Okay, part of this is is rolling with the uh, with the punches, if you will. That's a little weird. Once again, I'm gonna drag in two of those. It's random, that's what you get for random. Up next, the bridge and or solo progressive foundry. Here we go. All right, that's, that's a 12, 11, 12. Let's drop that in, see what it sounds like. Okay, it's got a swing to it. It's it's weird, it's a little weird. Next thing up, we are rolling for a second progressive foundry part. This is gonna be chorus three. What's it gonna be? We got 38. 10, 20, 30, what did I say, 38, all right. Wow. Almost uh, too straightforward. I like that though. The last thing is the outro, also Progressive Foundry. There is not an outro section as you can see. We're gonna use an intro as an outro because usually intros and outros are about as the same as you can imagine them to be. Progressive Foundry intro, oh, here we go. All right, we got 25. All right, here's the outro. It's in 5-4. Oh, good. So it's a 5-4 version of our intro is probably what will wind up here. So that gives us the basic layout for this track. It's about three minutes long. It's got all the parts that a sort of typical song will have, um, but it sounds anything but typical. And now the time has come to pick a key, a starting note for our song, not really a key, just a place to start. Here we go. 10 F sharp or G flat. That's what I rolled. That's where we're at. I don't really know where I'm gonna go from there. That's a cool place to start. So because I'm playing with a six string guitar in D standard tuning, which means everything is down a whole step. And I said in the beginning concert pitch and we have a G sharp, an F sharp or a G flat. In standard tuning, that would be an F sharp. In D standard, it's right here. Okay, with that in mind, let's take a look at our first groove. That's a pretty compelling way to start off a song. That sounds cool, let's try that. Okay. All right, that's cool, that's even cooler. Oh, ho, ho. One, two, three, four.
That's cool. Oh, sometimes you just stumble upon the greatest shit. That sounds awesome. So now we've got a riff, we've got a couple licks. I want a little bit of lead guitar here to sort of uh, set the mood. Well, that's pretty sick. I don't really know exactly where to go next, but I guess the drum groove is going to tell us. I'm gonna make a slight change right now before I go to this next part. That could go a lot of places. In the interest of making it easy for a singer, I'm not gonna do too wacky or uh, difficult to sing over uh, parts. It's not worth it to try and be so creative and different and interesting that you just make it impossible to sing over for anyone other than Mike Patton. <laughs> That's total shit. Ooh, that's a little tricky, but not in an annoying way. Well, that's cool. It's gonna cause pirate pits to erupt everywhere on Earth. So of course for the chorus, I want to harken back to the intro to continue tying it together, keep it as cohesive as we can get it, even within this random context. So let's see what that's gonna look like. And then something else. That's reasonably comprehensive. For those of you who are wondering, for guitar tones, I'm using Easy Mix. Uh, right now I'm using the Jake Dragon's Breath Rhythm Guitar Pads from Metal Guitar Gods 4, which is uh, real sick. I'm also using, as always, the Ola Epic Lead Tone from Metal Guitar Gods 3, and I will probably use an Ola patch for my bass tone as well. Okay, so I gotta land back on here to get to the verse again. And I wanna do a little chromatic walk down thing. Maybe like that. And then a little, I think, counterpoint lead part. Now I have to take what I wrote in the first verse which is in 6-8, and work it into this groove here. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be good. I can, I can totally do this. I can totally work this in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is it's almost too easy. Very nice. Okay. Now 
we're kind of going in reverse. So we've already got a chorus that was in 4-4, four, four, no swing at all, and now we're going into like a swing time, Gojira groove. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Luckily for us, we are now sort of continuing in a swingy kind of a groove for this bridge part, so we don't have to swap back to a 4 4 feel yet again. I want to go to a chord we haven't really gone to yet. Here's our bridge so far. Okay, I'm kind of feeling a solo. <laughs> that's a that's a great first first wank. Cool. Well, that's definitely a good solid solo uh, kind of backing track thing. If I need to expand it past these eight measures, then I will. I'd rather not have to make more work for myself than uh, than is absolutely necessary. All right. So now we're at the final chorus. It's the final chorus. Doodle -doo. So, what's it sound like? All right, that's the perfect final chorus feel, in my opinion. As I recall, this last bit is in 5-4. How do I turn something from 4-4 four, four to 5-4? And how do I make it sound different enough from the chorus that it's gonna hang together and be cohesive? One, two, three, four, five. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to put it in a different key for the ending because by this time, whoever's singing has uh, already sung their bits. They probably won't sing over the outro. I don't know, maybe they will. There's only, you know, there's only one way to find out. what happens when you play seven string guitar for a long time and then you go back to a six for no reason at all. Sometimes uh, things start sounding punk rock for no reason. As of this moment, I'm just copying and pasting to the end. I feel like this might be a bed for like a, a melody that goes over the top of it, some kind of strummed octaves or ostinato thing. <laughs> to hold it together.
All right, here's one of the changes I'm going to make. For this last outro thing, I'm going to change the power hand to a crash instead of hi-hats. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we can pull from that. So I just realized this is not long enough. Two, three, four, five. I'm kind of thinking probably like a studio fade, as they call it, where it just repeats over and over again as it fades out. Okay, well, that is a song. Ish. All right, so at this point you have seen me write all the guitar parts to these randomly picked drum parts. Now it's time to do bass. I have tracked and edited all the rhythm guitars exactly how they're gonna be. So now I gotta write the bass part to that. Let's try it out. Right now I'm using the Ola England Feared Bass Patch on Easy Mix 2. It's from the Metal Guitar Gods 3 pack and it's my go-to for sure. Beefy. I'm also using the Ernie Ball Everlast 0.60 pick for this because for some reason it just feels amazing on bass. All right, let's give it a go. All right, so now you've seen me compose the basic track for this song. Now I'm gonna hand it off to our collaborator, who is Elise from Amaranth, and we're gonna watch her write it a little bit, and then you're gonna get to hear the whole song. I think I will write some lyrics. I don't know, somehow it feels like this song already, the melody already exists. Fly, fly, I'm white except the bird. When I'm taking off the fire, barking out of Walking it off the feet. One day not the century, I cannot compete with your desire. You're in a flame, you will never hate me, they are always gonna be. Hey, 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 I can never fake your fly, that is in the play. I can't set you free. Now, just to make it very easy, I'm just gonna copy the first part. Your body's in the love that go and then I say to fool the I just need to figure out what to do with this first part. It's so weird, drums. Falling into the breeze, like you couldn't let me. Your soul, the faction, needs to be. You can never stop this blue and always pull away. I'm trying an alternative chorus. You, I cannot hide your own life. Okay, this is very alternative. I'm gonna do some cutting and then I'll come back to you. I cannot compete with your desire. So who is it gonna be? Your design necessities. Oh, would you rather set the world on fire? You can't take your time, stop waiting, stop having it be. Raise a banner, don't deny it. Your memory. I remember, don't you waste it. Satisfaction, we all need so something. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Huge thanks to Elise. She is the singer for my favorite band in the entire universe, Amaranth. You can check them out here. This was a huge dream come true to get to sing on this and write this song with her. They're gonna be on tour in Europe throughout most of the fall, so be sure to go and check them out. And if you liked what you heard, you probably will also like my band, In Virtue. You can check us out right here. And as always, if you haven't, mash that subscribe button, smack the bell, and drop us a like for more videos and original content. And I'll see you real soon.